Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 8 and I'm going to continue replacing the front panel on this 1973 VW bay window camper van. The next job I want to do is remove the front doors but before I remove the near side door I want to make a template of the edge of it so that I can use that to knock out um, a bit of displacement in this A post from a previous accident. good enough for the moment. Now I can carry on and remove these front doors. these metal plates which I cut off there and they're made out of two millimeter sheet metal so I've made a cardboard template it's the same on both sides so I need to cut these out now Right, the next job is to mock up the front of this bus again with all the new panels and I want to try and weld in the inner windscreen panel at the top and the lower panel at the bottom, get those welded in. So as I say, I need to mock up the whole of the front again. I also want to put the dashboard back in just to make sure that everything is lined up nicely.
that's all mocked up um, in place, everything fits nicely. Um, I think that's going to go together quite well. I have noticed that this lip here needs to be a little bit more horizontal for the shelf here, in front of the windscreen. So I'm probably going to have to twist this up a bit more. But the distances and everything are right. Um, the gap in front of the windscreen, etc., looks okay. So So yeah, I think I'm good to start welding things up and fixing things. The one thing I do have to do is that the inner windscreen panel didn't come with any tabs bracket or brackets to fix the um, dashboard to. So I'm going to mark on it where the holes are in the dash and then I'm going to make some tabs, little bracket angles and uh, weld those on. So that's going to be my next job. out when I've got the dash in place where I can get it in exactly the right place. So one down, seven more to go. in this lower inner panel. I've drilled lots of um, weld holes so let's crack on with it. 
which fits in like there. Now, the problem I'm having with getting this to fit is that it's slightly too long. So if I attach it at this end, these ends, it's too far out in the middle and it's not touching the lip of the floor pan that's still in there, the centre bit. So what I've done is I've trimmed the edges by about three or four millimetres on each end. And now when I push in now, now it's touching the inner lip of the floor. So now I can go ahead and put some welds in at each end. properly they'll fit nicely so I'm going to go ahead and finish welding in that front panel because I'm happy with that
I'm going to do now is put a tiny weld to connect the inner and outer panels together temporarily uh, just while I fit the windscreen afterwards I can just grind them off. of it located right in the middle. What goes on the inside? Sure, I get it dead centered, which at the moment it isn't. sitting in nicely so now I'm going to go inside the van and work up um, along the sides equally Also got a bit of an issue with the headliner here where this bow um, has the, the stretcher bar has or bow has come loose um, but I'll just at a later date I'll just undo this and put it back in place and re-glue the front but I'm not fussed about that at the moment.
Now that I know the windscreen fits and the doors fit perfectly, I know that this must be in the right place. Um, so I'm happy now to go ahead and fully weld this to the front of the chassis and to the bottoms of both A posts. Now that I've finished welding up all of the front, ready to put the new panel on, I need to clean up all of this area um, and epoxy prime it and top coat it. I also want to do the same with the inside of the new front panel. Um, I know no one's ever going to see it, but it'll protect it and stop it from rusting more in the future. All of that's going to be in the next episode, so until then, please like, subscribe, comment, thanks for watching.